Hi, I'm Joe Haney here with another tip of the month from IAC. Today's subject is CAN versus interstitial velocity. Uh, we're going to talk about what they are by definition, why it's important, and what you can do as an owner and operator of a baghouse. So what is CAN and interstitial velocity? Both terms uh, are in regards to uh, airflow inside a baghouse, specifically in regards to, to speed or velocity. And both apply to the most typical design of a pulse jet baghouse where the inlet for the dirty air comes into the hopper. So can velocity is the speed effectively at the bottom of the filters or in the open part of the hopper. Uh, and it's measured in feet per minute. Typically the air is slowing down as it comes into the baghouse because it is a bigger space. But depending on the uh, grain loading and, and the speed, it can cause some turbulence issues and some bottom bag abrasion inside the dust collector. It's in relation to our second term, which is interstitial. Interstitial is the term for when the air starts to speed up as it moves in between the filters. Why this is so important is you're talking about the same volume of air, but it's now moving through a smaller space. The whole point of a pulse jet dust collector is it has to very violently overcome the collection direction of airflow and dislodge the dust from those filters. If the velocity, interstitial velocity, in between the filters is too high or too fast, you will never be able to overcome that collection airflow direction and clean those filters down. You're going to operate at high differential pressure, uh, you're probably going to have abrasion issues, and that bag else is going to be very maintenance intensive. So what can you do if this is your existing situation? Well, you're going to have to consider something uh, a change on that bag house, and that could be looking at pleated filter elements, uh, it could be removing some filters to artificially open up the area in the bag house, it might even be having to look at uh, choking back on airflow on that part of your process. But it also comes into play when buying new equipment as well. You have to make sure you're talking to somebody who's going to size that unit correctly, give you the open space inside that bag house for your airflow and also to your bulk density, which is going to have an impact on this as well. Um, and someone who's not going to shrink up the size of that bag house and, uh, and make it too small and make it a little bit cheaper when it comes to getting your quote. Uh, so we'd like to talk to you more about this topic, whether it's new collectors, uh, existing collectors, and see if we can uh, help you if you're experiencing some problems with can or interstitial velocity. All of our contact info is going to be on the blue screen as soon as I stop talking. I'm Joe Haney, and this is another tip of the month from IAC.